So we're going to cover some more advanced topics in dimensional analysis. Uh, first, we're going to examine um, how to convert between certain units of volume. And then we're going to explore uh, dealing with uh, having units on both the top and the bottom in a question. And so uh, our first question is, how many milliliters are in one decimeter cubed? How many milliliters are in one decimeter cubed? To understand this relationship, uh, what you need to do is consider two facts that you do need to memorize. One is that one centimeter cubed is the same as one milliliter. And the other is that one decimeter cubed is the same as one liter. You can use uh, either of these facts to convert from decimeters cubed into milliliters. So first, what is one potential pathway to go from decimeter cubed into milliliters? What unit uh, can you relate to both of those units? Uh, well, uh, you know that one decimeter cubed is the same as one liter, and you can convert from liters to milliliters. In our other option, uh, you can go from decimeters to decimeters cubed to milliliters via centimeters cubed. Okay, so first, let's uh, explore option A. All right, option A. We need to go from decimeters cubed into milliliters. So uh, we're going to do that, recall, by going into liters first and then into milliliters. So let's get out of decimeters cubed. Right now it's on the top, and so to uh, get rid of that unit, we're going to put it on the bottom. And then uh, we'll want to get into liters, so we'll put that uh, on the top. And then we want to ultimately get into milliliters uh, from those liters. So uh, let's just check that our units cancel out. Let's see, decimeters cubed cancel, liters cancel. So the only unit left is milliliters, so that's going to be uh, the unit of our answer. So let's go ahead and now fill in with some numbers here. Let's see, uh, how many decimeter cubed per liter? Uh, well, you'll recall by looking at this uh, information here that one decimeter cubed is the same as one liter. So one decimeter cubed is the same as one liter. And then uh, in one liter, how many milliliters are there? Uh, go to your green sheet and you'll find that there are 10 to the 3 milliliters per liter. And so to find the number of milliliters now, you just take that 1 and you multiply by 1 and you multiply by 10 to the 3, divide by 1, divide by 1, and you get there are 10 to the 3 milliliters. That's the same as 1 decimeter cubed. Let's explore this problem through another pathway via centimeter cubed. So we're going to go from uh, we're going to go from decimeter cubed into uh, centimeter cubed. So we'll put decimeters on top and bottom. It cancels out. That gets us into centimeter cubed, and from centimeter cubed we can go into milliliters. Now, what is the relationship between decimeter cubed and centimeter cubed? You might think that, oh, perhaps it's, uh, let's see, um, centimeters are about 10 times smaller than decimeters, so you might say it's 10 centimeters cubed per decimeter cubed. Wrong. This is not correct. Because we're dealing with cubic units. Um, and so to, to determine the relationship between decimeter cubed and centimeter cubed, First, uh, we need to find that relationship between just regular old decimeters and regular old centimeters. So uh, if you're super awesome, you already know that there are 10 centimeters per decimeter. If you don't know that already, then you can convert from decimeters into some uh, unit which will be your rest stop, and then from that rest stop into centimeters. What is that unit? What unit do you know the relationship? Um, to decimeter and centimeter, your base unit, meter. And so uh, convert from decimeters into meters. How many decimeters per one meter? 10 to the 1. How many centimeters per one meter? 10 to the 2. And so the number of centimeters per one decimeter is 10 to the 2 over 10 to the 1, or 10 to the 2 minus 1, or 10 to the 1, there's 10 centimeters per one decimeter. And so knowing that now, we can find a relationship between decimeter cubed and centimeter cubed. In order to get those cubic units, you need to 
cube both sides of this equation. If you cube both sides of this equation, because you can do anything to both sides of an equation, you get, let's see, 1 to the 3 decimeter cubed is equal to 10 to the 3 centimeter cubed. Or 1 decimeter cubed is the same as 10 to the 3 centimeter cubed. This relationship, this equality, allows you to now plug into the um, conversions here. 1 decimeter cubed is the same as 10 to the 3 centimeter cubed. You'll need to understand this when you take physics as well. So then you can convert from centimeter cubed into milliliters, and you'll recall from the very, very top that 1 centimeter cubed is the same as 1 milliliter. 1 centimeter cubed is the same as 1 milliliter. So you plug in then. Uh, how many milliliters are there in a decimeter cubed? Just the 10 to the 3. Isn't that convenient? Both of our calculations give us the same answer. There's 1,000 milliliters per decimeter cubed. Let's try another problem. Let's say a cheetah can run at a speed of 27 meters per second. 27 meters per second. How fast can it run in miles per hour? So we're given 27 meters per second, and we want to find the number of miles per hour. So when it says 27 meters per second or meters slash seconds, what that means is 27 meters over one second. And we ultimately want to convert into miles per hour or miles over hours. So what unit would you like to get out of first? Take your pick. Uh, I'm just going to randomly choose, though, say meters. Now, uh, we can go from meters, and we need to go into miles. We want to have miles on top. Okay, so uh, you might know already that 1,609 meters is the same length as one mile. And then uh, we can get out of meters, and we'll be in miles. And we also need to get out of seconds. Now, to get rid of seconds, and ultimately into minutes and then hours, and right now you have seconds on the bottom, you need to have seconds on the top. And then you'll have minutes on the bottom. Seconds cancels out. Now you need to get from minutes into hours in the bottom part. So uh, to get out of minutes, and it's on the bottom right now, put minutes on the top, and you can say hours. Let's plug in some numbers here. How many seconds per minute? 60 seconds per one minute. How many minutes per hour? 60 minutes per one hour. What are the only units left here? Miles over hours. So this gives us miles per hour. To calculate, multiply 27 by 60 by 60. Press Enter, divide by 1609, and you should get 60.5. Four is what your calculator spits out at you, but is this the best way to answer this question? No. How many sig figs are in this guy? One, two, three. How many sig figs are in what we started with? Just two sig figs. Our answer should have two sig figs as well. Sixty, you might say. However, that only has one sig fig. How about sixty dot? That's fine. Or 6.0 times 10 to the 1 miles per hour. And there you go. Thanks for watching.